And now we come to the second way of multiplying two vectors together, the cross product, also known as the vector product, because it gives you a vector. Now this is a little bit tricky and rather counterintuitive. Let's say we have vector A that points this way and vector B that points this way. The cross product is not going to point in either of these directions, it's going to point at right angles, in this case straight up. So the cross product always points at right angles to both of the two vectors you're multiplying. Now the strength of the cross product is equal to the strength of the first vector times the strength of the second vector times the sine of the angle in between them. So if they're both pointing in the same direction, sine the angle is zero, sine zero is zero, so there's no cross product. It's strongest when they're at right angles to each other, exactly the opposite of the dot product. Which way does it point? Well, as I, says, as I said, it's always at right angles to vector A and vector B. The way you work it out is using the right-hand rule. There are several different right-hand rules in science, but this one for vectors. You've got A cross B, so A is first. What you want to do is take your right hand and start the fingers pointing in direction A and rotate them towards B. So A is that direction and B is this direction. Then fingers go from A to B and your thumb points in the direction of the cross product. In this case, it was up. If A was this way and B was that way, we need to rotate the fingers from A to B. So in this case, the cross product will point straight out of the screen straight towards you. Now note that A cross B is the opposite direction from B cross A. So it's not like normal multiplication. Normally if you multiply X and Y, it's the same as multiplying Y and X. But for the cross product, it's the same strength but the opposite direction. OK, how do we do it in components? Well, if our vector A looks like this and our vector B looks like that, the same way of writing it we've used before, then A cross B has this rather complicated form. A Y B Z minus A Z B Y in the X direction, A Z B X minus A X B Z in the Y direction and so on. Notice that the strength of the X component depends only on the Y and the Z of the two vectors coming in. Likewise, the Y component only depends on the Z and X. Now you can just memorise that. It's a rather painful thing to memorise. It will be on the formula sheets for any exams you do. But there is actually a pattern which can make it a bit easier to remember. What you do is you write down x, y and z. And write them down at the bottom. And in between you do the components. ax, ay, az, bx, by, bz. Okay? got with me so far. Now we do it again. We duplicate the whole thing on the right. So we've got x, y, z, x, y, z, and all the components like this. Now if you want to work out the cross product, what you do to get the x component is go diagonally down like this. So you're going to have a, y times b, z, and then you go diagonally up from the side minus b, y, a, z, or times x hat. So that's the x component. Similarly for y, you go diagonally down like this. So you get plus a, z, b, x, and then up from here, minus b, z, a, x. And similarly for z, you go down like this, a, x, b, y, and up from here, minus b, x, a, y. Now that's in the y direction, and this is in the z direction. So that is the cross product a cross b. Hopefully that makes it a bit easier to remember. Now there's one little point I have to make out. Um, this calculation is assuming what's called a right-handed coordinate system. So if we have our x-axis like this, our y-axis like this, 
and the z-axis points out of the screen towards us. That's a right-handed coordinate system. Uh, and This equation is valid for that. If you chose to have z going into the screen, or some other permutation, like x here, z there, and y coming out, that's a left-handed coordinate system, and that will change this equation slightly. Some of the minus signs will reverse. But for this course, we'll always use right-handed coordinate systems, and this equation will work. So we have x along y up and z out of the screen. And in that case, this is the correct equation to use. The right-hand rule always works. So you can just uh, use the right-hand rule and just assume it's going to point in the right direction.